In today's video, I want to answer once and for all the age-old question of whether or not the 6.5 Creedmoor is actually a better cartridge than the 308. To answer this question, I'll be shooting each cartridge at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch steel. Whichever cartridge penetrates the steel the deepest will be crowned the best cartridge. So place in the comment section down below which one you think that will be. For the 308, we'll be using a 24 inch barrel setup. And for the 6.5 Creedmoor, we'll be using a 26 inch. I know, I know, they're not the same barrel length, but it's as close as I have. Shooting steel can be very dangerous, so do not try this at home. So let's go ahead and get our testing started with a quarter inch mild steel plate. Well, no surprises there that both the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308 went through the quarter inch mild steel like butter pretty much. So let's go ahead and step it up to the 3 8 inch mild steel plate. Again, both the 308 and the 6.5 Creedmoor went through the 3 8 inch mild steel plate like butter. That's pretty impressive right there. So let's see how that half inch mild steel plate will treat both of the cartridges. If you find this testing useful so far, I'd sure appreciate if you snipe that like button. I'd also recommend that you go and check out my website, link in the description below. Looks like both of the cartridges got stopped cold in the half inch mild steel plate, but which one actually penetrated deeper? My money is on the 308, but let's go check it out. All right, I'm back here at the workbench, and one thing I can tell you right off the bat is that that bulging is severe from both of the cartridges, which is impressive in its own right. I thought that I was going to be able to take the depth measurement of each cartridge, but unfortunately the spalling is so severe and inconsistent on each that I'm not able to take an accurate depth measurement. So what I'm going to have to do for this is go out with an angle grinder and cut each of these areas flush, and then we'll be able to get a good measurement. Let's get started. Is it just me, or did that grinding make both of these rounds look pretty unimpressive? Well, I guess it would help if you saw it first to understand. I mean, seriously, look at that 6.5 Creedmoor right there. Compared to when the spalling was on there, it doesn't even look like anything impacted. The 308 doesn't look too bad, but compared to when the spalling was on there, it is a lot less significant. I guess it really doesn't matter what they look like, though. Let's see which one penetrated deeper. It's the moment of truth. Which cartridge actually penetrated deeper and will be crowned the better cartridge? Let's start with the 308. Looks like we got 0.452 inches. That's literally only about 50 thousandths off from going the whole way through the plate. But a lot of that can be the deformation of the bulge on the back too. So it really wasn't that close. But still, that's really impressive, and that 6.5 Creedmoor is going to have a run for its money. Let's see if that 26-inch barrel helped the 6.5 Creedmoor out at all. From what I saw, it didn't look like it, but we'll see. Oh, what did I tell you? 0.383 inches. That's not even close to the 308. So I think we crowned ourselves a new winner. Although that is pretty impressive penetration. I'm sorry to all those 6.5 fanboys out there, but the 308 is a superior cartridge. At least in terms of steel penetration. But why would the 308 penetrate so much deeper? Since we were using full length barrels, we're going to go ahead and assume that we got the velocities listed on each of the boxes. If we type this information in the shooter's calculator, we find that the 308 produces 2629 foot-pounds of energy, and the 6.5 Creedmoor produces 2250 foot-pounds at the muzzle. If we use these values to run a quick calculation, we find that the 6.5 Creedmoor produces 85.6% of the energy of a 308 at the muzzle. This means that we would expect the depth of the 6.5 Creedmoor penetration to be approximately 85% of whatever the 308 was. So after using the depth values that we found to complete the calculation, we see that the 6.5 Creedmoor penetrated 84.7% of what the 308 did. That's literally within 1% of the energy value we found. So I think that explains it right there. If you want to see more cartridges tested against steel, let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.